Good day everyone. My name is Aisha Reswan. I am your teacher for maths. Today I am here with another lecture. That lecture is for grade 6. I am using Oxford International Primary Maths. This is chapter number 9 from this book. So let's start. So for grade 6, I already started the time chapter and we are at the center of that chapter and if grade 6 you want to know about the previous lecture you can see grade 5 video that i have uploaded like before and that video is also about time so if you want to know everything like the previous lecture that i have already given to you you can uh, see the video from their like page from grade 5 you can see the video of the timings but here i will tell you that what we are going to learn today so for today we have these objectives like after this video you are able to understand 24 hour notation and to know difference between time units to do exercise on timetables so here are some examples that i have done for you for units of time so that it will be easier for you to convert the units into different units of time so for like units of times we have a unit or we have a new unit minute then second millennium century year months week and a day so this is a graph flow chart that i made for you to like after this you are able to remember it easily so all we have or like in an or there are 60 minutes the another unit of time is minute it has 60 seconds and then seconds and then millennium that have 10 centuries and here we can start from this side like first of all we have day in which 24 hours after that week will come which have seven days and after week months will come which have we can say that four weeks in a month or one or two or three days like four weeks are plus after four weeks sometimes it have one more day sometimes it have three more days so basically we can say it as a month have four weeks and then year it have 12 months and then century 100 years and then millennium that have 10 centuries so for remembering it will be easier for you to write or minute second and then another day week month year months and millennium here you can write 24 7 four weeks and then here you have to show the year in months like 12 months and century 100 years and there 10 centuries. So it will be easier for you to remember it with the help of a flow chart, the units of time. So there is another example for you in like table form. One year I have 365 days. Then you have to write three times like one year, one year, one year. One year have 365 days. And after this, we, if we will talk about months, 12 months and 52 weeks. One week have 7 days, one day have 24 hours, one hour have 60 minutes and one minute have 60 seconds. You have to remember this. You can remember this by using this flow chart. It will be there for you. Write hour, minute, second and day, week. And after that, you have to like week into days, months into week and like that. There is another example that I've done for you. There are, you can also write like this, 60, here you can write like this, six, second minute or, from small to big, second minute or, days, days, like four times days, right, and then second minute or, four times days. After that, you have to write 60, 60, like seconds, minute, 60, 60, 24, 7, 30, and two times 365, like seconds in a minute, 60, 60 minutes in an hour. 24 hours in a day, 7 days in a week, 30 days in a month, 365 days in a normal year. There are some examples that it, I made it easier for you to understand the unit of times. Also, if you see the chronological order, a year has 12 months, a decade, decade. Decade has a period of 10 years and a century has a period of 100 years. Millennium has a period of 1000 years, okay? So you have to remember this in your mind. A uh, uh, year has 12 months, decade, 10 years, century, 100 years. You can say like I will give you an example for century also. 
you will see that you see a cricket match or any play game when you see a batsman did a century and he raised his bat so that century because he scored 100 scores so that's why we can call it as a century so from that thing you can easily kept in your mind that century means okay 100 something in 100 so century is 100 years that kid we can say that a kid is 10 years and million like 1000 1000 years here is also some things in like uh, table form like 60 seconds we have 1 minute 60 minutes we have 1 or 24 hours one day seven days one week 52 weeks here you can say second minute or i am doing it from small to big second minute or day week days and then decade century million so it will be easier for you to memorize it after that in page number 152 of your work uh, textbook some people have 152 and some maybe have other pages so i am telling you about the topic so i am saying now about the topic this is 9a converting between times of unit converting between times of unit here this is the topic converting between times of unit i can write here 9a so converting between time of unit you can see on your page at your page you can see this part you have to convert these units to another unit like number of centuries in a millennium you have to tell me number of decade in a century number of years number of months number of weeks number of days and number of minutes so first of all i will start from down how many numbers of second in a minute yes you have 10 seconds you can memorize it 60 like i told you before see you can also make a flow chart to memorize it see second minute like in a minute there are 60 second then 60 minutes in an hour and you can also consider this one example second minute or days 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 then first of all second 60 60 24 7 60 60 24 seven. So in a second there are 60, like in a minute there are 60 seconds. So number of seconds in a minute 60. Number of minutes in a second 60. Number of days in a week seven days in a week. So number of weeks in a year, weeks in a year. Here you have to write the number of weeks not in a month in a year. You can say it as like. if you have to think like if one month equals to how many weeks four weeks as we have discussed in the flow chart as one month have four weeks so i can say that and one year equal to 12 months you have to see one month four weeks and one year 12 months so one year we have to find the number of weeks in one year and according to one year it have 12 months 12 months each month have 4 weeks one month have 4 weeks so 12 months how many weeks one month 4 weeks and 12 months we have to multiply 4 multiply by 12 is equal to 48 48 weeks so we can say it as 12 months have 48 weeks and see 12 months have 48 weeks and this months are there in one year so one year have 48 weeks so this is the answer Here you can say that this is an answer. Yeah, so this is an answer. Why? Because they said number of weeks in a year. 
for number of weeks in a year we can so is like think in our mind that okay in a month if it is four weeks then 12 months will be 4 multiplied by 12 48 weeks and 12 months equal to one year so it means 48 weeks in a year likewise number of months in a year do you know this in a year how many months are there Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. It has 12 months. Okay. Now look at here in the next one. Number of years in a century. Like in a century there are 100 years. Because as I told you before that one century means 100. So 100 years. And number of decades in a century, decades always means 10. So this you have to solve in page number 152 or whatever your page is. Just you have to see this uh, table. It must be in that page and the topic is 9a converting between units of times. So now I am going to tell you about types of notation. This is for your information just like 12 or notations we have two types of notation 12 or notation 24 or notations so in 12 or notation it means in this type of notation there are an am or pm for the daytime we use am or for the night we use pm as i told you in my lectures that we have two types of clock first one we have analog and the second one we have digital for analog clock we have 12 hours but for digital we have 24 hours also because uh, in analog clock we have to see the daytime by using am and then afternoon or night time we have to see by pm daytime means am or night times mean pm like for 24 hours no need for am or pm just if there is 13 or 14 o'clock it means it is a pm time and if it is 7 or 5 or 4 it means this is for am so 24 or notation there is no need to write am or pm i will tell you how you can write 24 hour notation and uh, i will make it more clear by using uh, some examples as you can see i have done some examples for you so i'm i want to convert these times like times and i have want to convert it to 24 or notation yeah so what i will do first of all i have to see 4 pm four o'clock and after this it's right it is written here pm whenever you saw something in pm and you have to convert it into 24 hour notation so what you will do you have to simply write 12 whenever you see pm it means you have to write 12 and then plus to that number this number you have to plus it to that number so 12 plus 4 how much it is yes it is 16 it means it's 16 o'clock okay and it means 16 o'clock there is no need to write pm now because 16 already means it is the time like not on uh, morning it's the time on evening or afternoon here you can see that pm so you have to simply write 12 and then you have to do addition and there it is written 3 so write 3 and then equal 12 plus 3 how much 15 so it's 15 o'clock so this is the 24 hour notation format here they said 3 a.m here uh, they didn't write p.m so no need to write this 12 just write this 3 so it means 3 o'clock bus because there is no plus if it is if there is p.m we have to write 12 if there is no p.m it means no need to write 12 here you can also see that 3 o'clock pm here you can see pm so first step you whenever you see pm you need to write 12 and then you have to write plus and then this number will come same this example we have done it before so 15 so same with 9 pm you saw pm so you have to write 12 then do addition then this 9 will come here then you have to add 12 plus 9 21 
so this two o'clock pm you have to do it you have 10 seconds tell me the annotation time what i have to do in two o'clock pm to convert this into 24 hour notation 